So Epic Games have this full on official guide on improving frame rate and I thought we'd go through each section of this guide to see if any of these actually do boost our FPS in game. Starting off with the first one, use upscalers to boost FPS. If you don't know what upscalers are, it's essentially a technology that renders images at a lower resolution then upscales them to a native resolution. But it does this in a way of looking the exact same but costing way less memory and overall should improve your frame rate. However, to get this set and working, you do need to be on DirectX 12. As you can see on performance mode, this option just isn't there. Also to use Nvidia DLSS, you actually need to have a RTX 2000 series graphics card or above. But if you don't have that graphics card, I believe you can still use the TSR option in game. Next is change the power mode for Windows PC. To do this, literally just type in the search, edit power plan and it should come up there then head into change advanced power settings and this little power options box should appear and you can see under this drop down we've got three different presets and these all have slightly different configured settings within as you can see by default it is on balanced and this is a balance between performance and power saver however you can choose one of these options right here to favor whichever one you want so if you do want high performance all of these settings right here will be configured for high performance and some people have claimed that this does actually boost their FPS in game but with my system it's actually negatively affected my FPS so I can't recommend this one. Epic Games also agree as the state that most PCs are set to balanced and that does make sense as it's a bit of both but again this could be different with your PC but they do also state that it can improve the performance of your games. Next we've got disable full screen optimization. To do this open up your Epic Games launcher then go into the library section then when you see the game itself um, click on those three dots and head inside the manage button then inside here go under installation click on that like folder icon then go into fortnite game go into binaries go into win64 and if you scroll down inside here you want to look for something called fortnite client win64 shipping then right click on it head into its properties section then under where it says compatibility and here you will find that disable full screen optimization setting if you go ahead and tick it oh also change the high dpi settings and make sure this is checked the override bit with application selected don't forget to press ok if you go ahead and apply that i've found that this setting does actually boost my fps but only very slightly by like an average of around 20 fps however i will admit that this does make tabbing out like going into different applications a lot slower than it once previously was so if that sounds worth it fair enough but i tab out a lot and this was quite annoying next we've got defrag your hard drive the simplest way to do this is to go into the search bar and literally type in D frag and then you'll see defragment and optimized drives and inside the optimized drives window you will see all of your drives now you may have what i have which is a solid state drive or you may have a hard disk drive and epic games state themselves that they do not recommend doing this on a solid state drive or ssd as they're called as this can reduce the lifespan of the drive so with both of my main drives being both ssd drives i've got the first one right there and then i've got the second one this doesn't really matter as it's just an external drive ignore that i'm Myself will not be doing this optimization and it's something you shouldn't do if you've got a solid state drive you can see here if you've got one under media type next we've got disable background programs they state that if you're running several background programs this may result in poorer performance to disable these inside of windows go into settings then into apps and underneath installed apps you've got all of your different installed apps and if you want to find out if any of them are running in the background you literally just click on those three dots on the right hand side go into to advanced options and under where it says background apps permissions you can actually click on it and select never if you want to stop it from running in the background which can actually boost your fps and this is something i like to do on any of the applications that i don't want running in the background such as like this xbox one for example right here and there's a ton more you can do in addition to that i like to go into the install apps and literally uninstall any applications I don't use. So Microsoft Teams there just got installed. Same with Mail and Calendar. I don't use that. I use Gmail. So that's going to get uninstalled. And there's a ton more you can find that you can go ahead and uninstall. Oh, another thing under startup apps. This is really important. I go through any apps I don't want starting up as soon as I boot up my PC. 
I literally just turn each of them off and this does again boost your FPS. Next is graphics driver updates. You can see they've provided a link to Nvidia graphics cards and AMD graphics cards where you can download the latest drivers for both graphic card types. However for myself I like to go into the Nvidia app then go under the drivers section and get the latest driver from here because with Nvidia specifically which I myself am on it tells you what's new with the driver and it also tells you what's fixed and this information right here is really useful but overall I like to keep my drivers personally on my system up to date as I found that I can get FPS boosts I can get crash fixes and just a ton more and it's something I like to do every couple of months to be honest however a lot of people like to type in best driver and then they'll put in their graphics card and they'll find the best driver for that specific graphics card so that is an alternative right there next keep your computer cool and the state that if you're having issues with your PC it could be a sign that your computer is overheating so to keep your PC cool AVG have got this really cool guide now the first one is to clean your PC I like to do this like every couple of months another one is airflow I like to have as many fans as possible the third is to check the fans so make sure there's like no dust like clogging them up and when you clean your fans this should be enough another one is reapply thermal paste this is something I haven't done and I probably wouldn't as your thermal paste is probably fine but it's maybe something worth checking if the rest fail and the other two right here are pretty well known next performance low graphical fidelity and they are talking about the performance mode option inside of the game itself which is something I highly recommend you do select in addition to that make sure you select the low meshes option for even more FPS this one's a great one as it does things like remove the grass and overall just makes the textures like have much lower graphical fidelity and it's something I do highly recommend doing next we've got verify your game files to do this go into the epic games launcher then under library click on those three dots so this time click on the verify files button and as you can see it will verify the files it shouldn't take long at all but I noticed after doing this and playing the game my frame rate was the exact same but I do actually like to verify my files now and then as I think it does actually prevent game crashes and finally verify your system meter requirements to run Fortnite. here are the minimum system requirements that's the GPU you need the CPU you need the RAM you need and the operating system and then here are the recommended system requirements you need so to get like decent FPS this is the GPU you need this is the GPU RAM you need this is the processor this is the system RAM hard drive to recommend an SSD drive and then OS which you all should have and if you want to expect really high frame rate these are the system specs you do need and that right there was Epic Games official guide on troubleshooting low frame rate I think overall this is a great guide and I would recommend it however most of these right here only give slight performance boosts or do nothing at all really but if the video helped out feel free to drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel and feel free to check out any of my other videos on screen right now